create the coordinate pass for the character, first you need to make three planar projections. In Maya, you can just right click on a ramp and go to create as projection. Now each of these ramps are going to be different colors. One is going to be red, one is going to be green, and one is going to be blue. So the first ramp is going to go horizontally across the character and we'll make that red. Have to set it to a U ramp. And if we take a look at the placement node, you can click fit group to bounding box and uh, that's going to uh, fit it mostly to the character. Now this is actually not going to be quite correct if you take a look at the scale. Uh, this isn't cubic. Uh, notice how the axes aren't the same. So I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a second, but let's make another ramp. I'm basically just doing the same thing, except uh, instead of a U ramp, this is going to be a V ramp and this is going to be green at the top and black at the bottom and I'm also going to fit it to the bounding box and I'm just going to move it back just a little bit uh, so we can see that it's different from the first ramp so here's the red ramp here's the green ramp now last uh, we're going to have to do the blue projection so I'll just break this create as projection and uh, in this time we have to take the placement node and rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, you can't see it because it's too small down there, but when we fit it to the bounding box, now it's sideways. But you're going to notice uh, one problem with these projections. Uh, for sticky paint, we need this mapping to be cubic. And uh, it's almost cubic on the front, but it's pretty skewed um, on the side. It's, uh, it's squished. So if we take a look at our scale, uh, 30, 62, 57, and on this one, uh, 57, 62, 30. And uh, really the easiest solution is just to take the largest number out of any of these three projections, so 62.14, and uh, paste it over And now we have a cubic projection if we take a look at these two ramps. And then uh, this green one that I just moved off, uh, we can just move it back to the correct we can just move it back to the correct position, the same position as this ramp, or the same position as this ramp. I'm just going to change the blue projection to a U ramp and change the colors to blue and black. So let's take a look at our three ramps right here, and uh, we're going to mix them using a layered texture. Uh, that's how it works in Maya anyway. We'll set the blending mode to add. And we'll apply this to the color of the surface shader. So if we render this, now our character is mapped. So there is still one problem, however. Uh, these colors... Um, are going to have to move with the character. So you'll notice in the last render right here, uh, this character's hand is red and this one is dark green. I'll just use the one that was actually in frame for example. And when I move it, it swims through the texture. Uh, so this is a problem. But luckily, Maya has a solution for this and uh, hopefully other software will too. We can just take all the geometry in this character and well, actually, in, in Maya, you have to do it one by one, which is a little bit annoying. Go to Rendering, Texture, Create Texture Reference Object. And I'm just applying that same thing to every object in my character. And now you'll notice that when I move this hand, it stays red as it moves. So just to take a quick look at what this texture reference object does, uh, it's basically an exact copy of the geometry and uh, whatever color the projections are applying to this, it's going to send that color to the geometry uh, that it's referenced to. So no matter where, we, so no matter where we move this character, 
um, it's going to have the same color mapping as its texture reference object. And then we just have to make sure that uh, the projections and the texture reference objects are not moved uh, relative to each other. If they need to be grouped together and then they're moved as a whole, that's fine. 